Hey guys, um, before I even get started, um, to Dietra and Marcella, uh, thank you so much for your comments. It really meant a lot. And uh, I really appreciate you guys supporting me. Now, there's a, another part of the story that I left out um, that I think is important. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to share it just because of, uh, in case family or friends uh, find these videos, I didn't want them to be concerned. So that part is uh, my suicide attempt. Well, I'll tell you the story and you can decide if it was an attempt. So after I get back from Washington and... Uh, I was just sitting there thinking about her answers to the questions that I asked. And it was like, the one that bothered me the most was I thought that when I asked her what ended us, I thought it would be something um, common. Like, I just fell out of love with you because you weren't near or, you know, I met somebody or something like that. But remember, she said it was the distance, which could have been solved, you know, with just a little bit of waiting. And she changed her perspective on what she wanted. And I don't really know what that means. Um, Maybe I'll find out eventually, uh, but that's part of this whole journey is I think I, I, I did, took my best guess at what it means because I had to really think about all conversations we've ever had and what she didn't like, at least from what I can gather. So aren't those all things that I could have changed had she just talked to me? And it's like... If somebody didn't didn't even want to have that conversation with you you know how worthless that makes you feel like you weren't worth it oh and I think this is also important now she's 32 now 33 but at the time uh, I was 24 and she was 19 so yes very young uh, Anyway, it just made you feel like, like you didn't mean anything. Like it, it would have been such a simple fix. And it really affected my self-worth. So when I got back, Uh, there was a night I put the girls to bed and then I was sitting in the kitchen and uh, I decided to opt out and uh, I got a bunch of newspaper and I spread it on the table because uh, it's my parents house and I didn't want them to you know have that big of a mess and then I sat there and I drank, not even a lot, maybe a quarter bottle of Johnny Walker Black. And I went and got my, my pistol, my Beretta, and I put it next to me. And I just was thinking about everything and it's hard to think of anything good in a situation like that. So, having almost done it now, I can say that you start to try to psych yourself up. And uh, I picked it up and I put it right under here. 
And maybe it was because I really had every intention. Or maybe it was because it was God's way of helping me. But without even trying, all these thoughts started just soaring through my head like a like a freight train. Um, family, my kids. And the one that struck me as a little odd was all the happy memories with her. Nothing bad. And, you know, I kept trying to do it and trying to do it and like, I'm not going to lie and say there was some dramatic moment where I almost pulled the trigger. No, I, I didn't. But I put it down next to me. And just laid my head down on the table and closed my eyes for a few minutes. And when I opened them, believe it or not, I was looking right at a ad or a uh, article on one of the papers. Now, the title of the article was almost completely covered, partially by another paper, partially by my hand. And the only part of the title that I could see said, Rebuild. And I lifted my hand up and it said, officials say, I don't remember the name of the building now. This building is worth rebuilding. The only word I could see was rebuild. And it just resonated with me. And that's when I uh, decided to start working on all this. Now, I haven't, I'm not a sociology major, and I haven't done a survey, and I don't pretend to know what John Q. Citizen thinks about this, but I lived with depression a long time, and I've met a lot of people who were pushed to that edge for one reason or another, just like me, and every one of them without question, either did it or had some kind of awakening without exception. And like I said in the first or second video, it may seem stupid to some people and my reasons may seem strange, but this is what's driving me, and like I've told you, is it going to work? I don't know, and I try to remain honest with myself and saying, you could go through all of this and it, it won't matter to her. I get that, but I think everything that I'm doing is a good positive change. So even if it doesn't work, I'll be in a much better position, much better situation, and have a lot more self-worth. And then maybe I'll be worth it to somebody else. But for now, this is all I care about, as far as myself goes. So, I just thought that was an important part of the story. Um, I actually have plans to get the word rebuild tattooed right here. So, it's kind of like my motto now. Just rebuild. 
And like part of the article said, it's worth it to rebuild. Just trying not to cry anymore because it's What do you guys think? Have you ever been in that kind of mindset or gotten to that point? Uh, if so, go ahead and comment. Tell me about it. Uh, oh, and to the people who have subscribed already, thank you so much. That was such a uh, uplifting thing to see uh, when I got up. It really was. It put a smile on my face, to say the least, which is, I really need a lot of those right now. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, I'm going to start going more in depth on, uh, each thing that I do. And one thing that a lot of people, uh, that I work with and everything I've been asking is, uh, how I'm losing weight the way I am. Cause it's only been a month and uh, I weigh in on Fridays, but, uh, as of last Friday, I was down 28.8 pounds. And, uh, like I said, I'm not hungry. Don't feel any pain get jittery uh, and I told you part of the secret but I'm, I'll get more in depth because uh, maybe you're struggling with weight loss or want to improve you know yourself in that manner and maybe I can help with that but uh, I'm gonna end it for now uh, thank you so so much for um, for subscribing and for supporting me uh, can't tell you guys how much that means to me uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Bye, guys.